Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. Let's move out. Play that funky music. After we get our money. Funky music time. We got the funk, now here we go. Come on. And we want to go to the shiny thing lab. Funky music time. We got funky music. Funky music. Funky music. Come on, we should be there. Here we are. Close the door. Now what are our objectives? I know there's the gnome party. Go to Studio 8 and change their minds about the scientists. I can't remember. Oh yeah, we need to do this and then we can do that. Uh -huh. Bear. We've logged into the database. Now let's make some rocket gnomes. Then we can host that party. Let's make some. Build those gnomes. As I'm building them, we'll throw a party. Uh, can I throw the party is the big question. Where are the phones? Here we go. I don't know why she couldn't throw the party. Please don't kick the rocket gnomes. Also, something very important. If you're going to do this rocket gnome party, make sure they are outside the building. I don't think I need to explain what will happen if you set them off inside the building. Oh, because this is being interacted with. Okay, now I can grab the gnome. You... Make some lunch. Ready some rocket gnomes. Thanks, sounds fun. Getting some more rockets. According to my calculations, if we can prototype enough of uh, emotional gnomes or kinetic energy flamingos at the invitation station, we may be able to demonstrate a truly powerful over gnome rocket to the public in the near future. I don't know about the flaming flamingos, but I know for a fact we got enough rocket gnomes. And I don't know why the Sims are so intrigued on kicking them. The lunch party is starting to take off. Begin the launch. Ah, good day, 
What a great crowd, Zagby. Now we can we have perfect time to launch some rocket gnomes. We. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big deal. Can but can we? You fire off five of those things in a row? Then I'll be impressed. Da da da. Begin launch. Rocket them away. Huh. Yeah, launch five. I know. It should be more than enough. Rocket them away! Yeah, we are launching five. Rocket them away! Rocket them away! I can't believe my eyes, rocket gnomes! I did not think it was physically possible for gnomes to be launched. Amazing! Marco is a genius! We've completed the goal. Hypnotize. Now we can do something about Studio 8. Rocket Gnome away! <laughs> Time to eat, go to the toilet, and then sleep. Uh, as soon as I can remember where the toilets are in this place. Here we go. Back to the drawing board. What well, we made rocket gnomes popular. So hip hip hooray for that. Come on, stop eating. Don't clean up. Go to the toilets so that way you can sleep. Babu dabu. Go play VR. And you, you need to eat. Not clean up. Oh, there's no food. Okay. Well, seeing this is the party, let's order some pizza. There it is. Please get me some pizza. Awesome, that would be cool. Is that me that walked by? Did I take like the longest possible route to get to the beds? Speaking about beds. Let's get another better bed. So it fits the science theme. No, that ain't it. Here we go. Get this clean up. And the pizza does not show up as usual. Let's go sleep. Let's go sleep up. <laughs> yeah, I remember calling the pizza and it never shows up. Is the pizza glitched in this game? Is 
eat up and then go to bed. Now we're gonna eat a nice, lovely, yummy meal. Come on, finish eating. Put in the dishwasher and go to sleep. And we'll fast forward. Take a shower. And play in VR. Party has fizzled off. Play on the computer. Play a nice computer game. Play The Sims. She has awoken. Go serve breakfast. Come on, awaken! Do I need any skills yet? No, I don't think I will, me, for the time being. Come on! You go and use the toilet. Have a nice shower. And we'll do some VR. Wearing glasses while playing VR, that wouldn't be disorientating at all. Oh, my bus is going to be in an hour. Okay, we're not going to be eating, that's for sure. Let's just get ra fun up raised as much as possible. Come on, raise fun. <laughs> and here's the bus. So off to work we go. So I should be getting a promotion to special ops right away since I return. You can get a little bit of sleep. Have a nice lovely shower. And you can play a little bit of ER. Play games. More fun than reading a book. A scientist in VR. <laughs> that would actually be an interesting sight. <laughs> Although I wouldn't be surprised if scientists are using VR more often nowadays. <laughs> Their buses will arrive in an hour. <laughs> I thought the phone was ringing for a second. Open the pod. Those artists think they are the only creative ones in town. I wish we could change their minds somehow. Yeah, freak out. Go play some VR to calm down. Oh, and I'm home. Sweet. I'm not even going to try and read that. Somebody please put down in the comments what that says. Oh no, that's their bus. We're in our hazmat suits. Oh, 
Come on, get to your bus. Off you go. Make a nice yummy meal. And eat on up. Who's at the door? Let's see. It's this dude. What time do I get home? 12, so about another hour. Yeah, so you'll go to the toilet after you're done eating. Let's swing over to me. They should be arriving right now. <laughs> and we're now a co in Corvote Ops. Now this is is what the military is all about. You get to travel the world, see exotic places, meet interesting people, learn about politics, get directly involved in solving political problems. Play with guns. It's great. Next promotion, secret agent. And with that, we get... A telescope. I think it was one of the things that was stolen here. So let's just plop down a telescope somewhere. Do 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 do. I think it was somewhere around here that it got stolen. Let's place it there. And in the next episode, I'll see you all for the next one. And maybe we'll do something about Studio 8. See you all then.